protein that cross-link with the variable B domain of the T cell receptor to an alpha chain of the MSC class 2 molecule outside the normal peptide binding group. This cross-link will provide an activating signal that induces T cell activation and proliferation in the absence of the antigen specific recognition of the peptide in the MSC class 2 group. So there is not, no any antigen but they are binding side and they are the viral and bacterial protein because super antigen bind outside of the antigen binding cleft they bind outside the antigen binding cleft they activate any clones of the T cell expressing a particular variable B sequencing and thus cause polyclonal activation of T cell resulting in the overproduction of the interferon gamma so because the super antigen bind outside the antigen binding cleft they activate any clones of the T cell expressing a particular variable B sequences and thus cause polyclonal activation T B cell. So normally we think there is the monoclonal activation there is one antigen that will activate the T cell and that will get proliferated. Now we have polyclonal activation this in turn activates macrophage resulting in the overexpression of the pro-inflammatory cytokines like interglutinin 1, 6 and TNF excess amount of these cytokines induce systemic toxicity so we have more and more cytokines in our body now and they are, are causing systemic toxicity molecular producing during infectious process and known to be acted super antigen includes this staphylococcal enterotoxin toxic shock syndrome toxin of staphylococcus and streptococcal pyogenic toxin so there is the staphylococcal enterotoxin which is caused gastroenteritis staphylococcal toxic shock syndrome toxin that is caused toxic shock syndrome and then is the streptococcal pyogenic pyogenic and that is exotoxin and this is response for scarlet fever you can say so this is this all thing thing this all three organism or three toxin you can say that is responsible for that acts as the super antigen and these are the high yield equation we will discuss next uh, continuation of this chapter, chapter in the next lecture.